previously on Dragon Quest Builders. As you can see, I have started on the watchtower. Pippa's doing some cooking this morning. <laughs> we gotta put all these spike traps down. I hope I have enough. No! Oh my god, he broke through my wall. The leader of the monsters has appeared. Oh wow, it's one of those armoured things. Oh, oh, so it's like a sandy area. <gasps> oh my god, guys, do you see that? Is that a pyramid? Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. As you can see, the watchtower is finally completed. It is now complete. I'll show you around a little bit in a second. I'm really excited to show you guys. I think it turned out really well and I've put windows in now as you can see I'm happy with the windows like they're kind of simple so I need to unlock some better ones we'll probably unlock some better ones that will look much nicer in there later but I've been having a problem with monsters they have been driving me absolutely mad I don't know why but they've been relentlessly attacking my base lately and it's been driving me up the wall it literally has been driving me mad <laughs> so I've planted a load of spike traps all the way around the outside of the base it looks really ugly though like I don't really like having all this black stuff all around the outside of my base but what can you do by the way just ignore the blacksmith right now because I haven't actually showed you the footage of when I got him because I didn't actually show the entire part of exploring Damdara I'll show that bit soon but I just really wanted to show you what I've done to the base since then so yeah there's a lot of traps on this side I kind of have an idea though but we'll talk about that in a second. First, I'm going to show you around my watchtower. So let's go in through the front door. This is the front door. It actually has stuff inside. Like, we have rooms inside. So as you can see here, I don't have anything in the rooms yet. But it's a planned to be a room. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. But when the story tells me to make rooms i can make this into something i know it's not a lot of space in here but i just figured oh god monsters are attacking again oh god let me just take care of them because if a hammer hood is there it's gonna come straight through my wall and it really annoys me the hammer hoods with the giant bloody hammers they just knock down my walls and it's really annoying i don't know where they are i don't know where they are it should be okay anyway i'm planning to do something with this room hopefully we can put some nice furniture in here it is small but you know and up here we have another room but I know the villagers probably won't be able to get up here and this room is really really small smaller than the other rooms because I had to put a door on the inside there's literally like a door that goes nowhere <laughs> it's like a stupid door but whatever I had to put a door there so it recognized it as a room and like actually gave me base level XP because I wanted it and you know we might be able to get extra stat points like you know how you get stats and like extra stuff for owning rooms like you get like villagers have 20% more HP or 10% or whatever so yeah that's why I wanted to make it into a room so we've got two rooms in here and this ladder here goes up all the way to the top so we can go all oh, and fell down <laughs> so we can go all the way to the top here and see the top of it and I've got braziers going all the way down and we've got quite a few braziers all around it actually. So that's it for the watchtower. I'm also planning to build another one on the opposite side. I'll show you where. Hopefully, anyway, I'm going to build it identical to this one. as I think that would be really cool and we'll have two rooms in it like this one too. So I just like the idea of actually having rooms in it so it's actually useful and it's just not just, you know, just there. For decoration it actually has a use that's the idea anyway but I want to do another tower exactly the same as that one but in this corner and I want to build something in between it like in the middle but I'm not sure what we're gonna build in the middle if you have any ideas or suggestions let me know I'm kind of thinking like a church or something but I'm not 100% on that yet also I know I really need to work on the main base because it looks really really boring and I am planning to work on it and make it look a bit more exciting. It's not going to stay like this so don't worry, <laughs> I'm just still working on stuff. Alright so inside, I've changed the inside a little bit, it's now a cook fire cafe. How I did this was I put down some more tables and chairs. What the cook fire cafe gives you, the bonus it gives you is it prevents your hunger meter from draining while in your base so that is like really really helpful I love that so I can like build in that without having to worry about eating food so this is really handy so I do really recommend that you do put down a load of tables and chairs if you have a kitchen if you're playing this game I think you need four chairs two tables and you also
also need a decorative food item as well so that can be i think crockery counts too and crockery is really easy to make or you can have this like meat stuff that i found randomly i also killed the dragon through the blue teleportal that i keep meaning to do and i said i was going to do and i finally done it and he did drop an item and it was different from the green sofa as you can see here the dragon is a lot easier now that i've upgraded my equipment as you can see i'm doing like four five six between like four to six damage each hit and if i crit it does about 30 damage which is really nice it really didn't take very long to kill him which i was happy about because I remember when I first tried to defeat the damage I was doing like 0 1 0 1 I was lucky to get like any damage on him at all and my crits were like 10 so it took a long time he dropped this fireplace which was really random anyway as I said I have upgraded my equipment I am wearing I'm wearing iron armor iron shield I've got sledgehammers which are really cool because I can get different blocks with the sledgehammer because it can destroy harder material. We've got iron broadsword so we've upgraded all our armour which is really nice. We can also make a few more things like we can make glass so and glass with glass you can make windows which is what I have on my watchtower. What else can we build? We can make ornamental swords which I haven't built yet, ornamental armour they're just decorative items we can make wooden doors which i was happy about and ladders i'm not sure if we could make that before but we definitely can now we can make dressing tables that's also a new one i already have a dressing table i nicked it from the rundown castle so it's cool that we can actually build them now we can make brick barbecues which you probably saw me unlock on the last episode we can now build a shovel so we can finally do that quest through the blue teleportal where those hammer hoods are with the little gardens so we can now do that at some point when I get around to it. Also I really like that Pippa has been making me some more stuff in here. She's made me a plant pot now which I don't know how to make myself so that's cool she has also built me stone windows now if i had a few more of these i might have replaced the windows with those but at the moment it's not enough to replace all of the windows so i thought i'd look a bit stupid i also have another plan for the traps i've decided that i might get rid of these traps and maybe about here dig down about two stories down like here and fill this with traps and hope that the monsters get stuck in here with the traps and build this all the way around the base so like they'll drop in and they won't be able to get out and hopefully they'll be stuck in there with loads of traps that's the idea anyway I don't know if it's gonna work but I really want to try that because they have really been driving me mad with attacking my base also somebody left me a comment suggesting to put my inside on the inside of my bedroom which turned it into an inexpensive inn which increased the residence maximum HP by 10% so thank you for that that's an awesome tip so I've got some more HP for my residence it's really awesome how each room has a benefit I really like that so yeah that's about it for new stuff that's happened around the base now i'm going to continue exploring damdara desert there's a little bit more to explore around there oh how do we get over there i need to get over there i don't know how you get over there but that looks so cool can i see like i want to see i'm absolutely starving yep look at that there is a way to get into that but i'm not quite sure how yet there's definitely a way to get in there oh that looks so cool i've got to go and explore that at some point maybe we have to build something to be able to get into it i'm not entirely sure i don't really see many like resources around here my mallet just fell apart uh oh i'm gonna have to explore this a little bit more i think it's awesome so far oh look there's a little area here with the purple blocks what the hell is Pippa doing out here Pippa what the hell are you doing oh hello Mossy. what are you doing here I'd like to ask you the same question <laughs> ah so Rolo sent you here to look for the blacksmith did he and you came running straight away I suppose honestly that weirdy beardy's got you working like his own personal dog's body okay hmm you want to know what I'm doing here? <laughs> hey, Moti. Well, that doesn't sound suspicious. Why don't you leave that lazy old geezer behind and run away with me? What? The truth is, everyone back in Cantlin really gets on my nerves and I just can't take it anymore. Come on, Moti, run away with me. Let's start a new life together, just the two of us. What the hell are you saying? In hell. What? What the hell? Pippa? 
Is this really Pippa or is it a monster disguised as Pippa? Is Pippa really back in the base? What is going on here? That was not cool. I got a ghost on me as well. God damn it. The ghost is different here. The ghosts are different. They've got green hats here instead of purpley blue hats. Oh god damn it. These monsters are not cool. These monsters are stronger here. They really are a lot stronger. Ouch. Ouchie. Be kind to me. Pippa, you horrible lady. Why did you do this? Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's after me. Don't. Just, just, I come in peace. I didn't want to fight you. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh no, 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 my leather armor broke. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Quickly, quickly, um, put some more armor on. I only got this red armor, so. Oh look, he's put a shield up. He's got a shield and everything. All right, finish him off. Oof, we killed him. He dropped something, a key. What was the key for? Interesting. I'm wondering if that was not really Pippa. I really hope that wasn't Pippa because that would be really sad and disappointing. I think maybe the key is for this. Oh, square? No, I got a, where is the key? Where's the key gone? We got a key, let's open it. What is in here? I wonder if Pippa's in here. Hello? Oh, is this the blacksmith? Huh? Who are you? Damn, this guy's seen better days. Seeing as how you've made it here, I take it you got the better of that guard. But more importantly, what are you doing around here in the first place? Well, just exploring. Huh? Building your own city, are you? And you're looking for a certain blacksmith to help you out? Then you're in luck, lass. If you want a blacksmith, you've come to the right place. I'm Magnus, heir of the legendary Magog. Well, that's handy. I was just about to go and find you. But let's save the proper introductions for later. Uh, you can tell me about this town of yours when we're there. Okay, he's joined the party. I'm going to take these little... I want these handcuffs. They look cool. Have I got any more... Ah, oh, I haven't got any more hammers. I'll have to come back and take it another time. Is that... There's a hole there. Oh, there's nothing through there. Okay, this area looks really cool. Okay, we're going to fly back to the base. Oh, I had the wrong one. Okay, here we go, back to the base. Hopefully he will join our base. Hopefully he will allow us to make some awesome new tools and stuff. That would be really nice. He's probably going gonna go and get changed, right? Oh, right, we have to talk to him. Cor, did you build this whole place yourself? No doubt about it then. You're that girl they was always telling stories about, the legendary builder. If you don't mind, I'll make myself at home. I ain't anything special, but I'll help you whatever way I can. All right? There's just one thing that bothers me. This land you're building on. This is where the old fortress city of Cantlin used to be, isn't it? Do you think it's true what they say? That the place was pounded into the ground by a giant golem? I hope not. What's that? The golem didn't destroy Cantlin. It protected the place. Well, it happened hundreds of years ago now, so I suppose we'll never know what really happened. But the story I've heard was passed down by the survivors themselves. I can't see why they'd lie about a thing like that. Anyway, seeing as you're the legendary builder, and I'm the descendant of the legendary blacksmith, I should probably teach you the secrets of making iron arms, like what my father taught me and his father taught him. Of course, you'll need plenty of good iron to get started. If you're running low, the Damdara Desert's are full of the stuff. Alright, we're going to learn some stuff. Iron broadsword, awesome. New um, sword. Sledgehammer, yes. Yes. Awesome. Iron armour, I'm really happy about that hammer because mine always breaks, like all the time. Iron shield. I'm going to go see if he changes. Is he going to go get changed? He didn't change much, did he? He's still half naked, but okay. Anyway, we are going to turn in the next part of the quest. Since we have rescued the blacksmith now, we need to talk to Rolo and see what he says. By my bad back. <laughs> Why has he always got to say something at the beginning of the sentence? Normally it's by my lustrous beard. Now it's his bad back. <laughs> You've done it again, Multi. You've brought the blacksmith back to Cantlin. What's that? 
He met a monster that looked just like Pippa, and she was guarding Magnus's cell. Hmm, then it is just as I feared, the monsters are watching our every move. How else could they have known about Pippa and myself? No doubt they captured Magnus expressly to lure us into their trap. Well, I'm really glad that that Pippa wasn't actually Pippa, it was a monster. I kind of suspected as much. These fiends are not to be underestimated. We must redouble our defences. But before that, good work Multi, if you've not already done so, I recommend you speak with Magnus and learn from him everything that you can. Alright, that sounds awesome. Oh, another seed of life. I've got so much life now. Look, if I eat this one, I now have 85 life. How cool is that? I got loads of life. Alright, so the next quest is from Rolo. I don't know if we've got any more quests around here. No, we just got one quest from Rolo. I think we also have a quest from Pippa. What did she want again? She wanted... I don't know. I think she wants... Does she want me to make a steak? Is that what she wants? No? She said something about a famous chef. I thought we already found him. Maybe she wants us to build the barbecue brick. I'm not actually sure what Pippa wants. <laughs> Pippa wants a lot of things, it seems. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here for today. We will carry on next time. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. She, she stars. Didn't even get to